The third and penultimate round of this year's Burlington Idol was jam-packed with stellar performances, but only three contestants would be moving on to the finals. Those three would be Mackenzie Clement, Kerry Flaherty, and John O'Neill. I am so pumped. This has been an awesome competition so far. I feel good. I'm excited to be back again and uh, excited to do a few more songs for everyone. Um, I, uh, I can't, words can't describe emotions. I don't really have words right now, sorry. <laughs> With a level of talent flooding the CHOPS lounge area since round one, the work of the judges has only increased in difficulty with each week, and next week will be no exception. I think it's going to be tough because, you know, it is down to three, so they really have to, to pull their best work out and, and really show their stuff and, and show that they're, they're the best out of the best. Tonight was amazing, as usual. Um, you know, they all really just gave it their best, and uh, I love hearing these, these artists perform. Well, next week's going to be interesting because everybody's going to do a few more songs. I find that the more songs each performer gets to do, you start to see more and more of them. I'm excited to see what they, what they bring for uh, next week, for sure. Among the judges this year is Molly Mae Coopers, the winner of the first Burlington Idol that was held last year. I was really honored, honestly, to come back as a judge this time. I think the talent is like a new level this year. Everybody is really good. It's making the choices and judgment a lot harder. Life has changed quite a bit. I went from Burlington Idol to the real American Idol. So um, I'll be on this season. I was on the season before Burlington too, but that was different. I've been gigging a lot more. I've been working with Jay who kind of emcees the whole thing. So yeah, life is good. Yeah. While only one will take home first prize, each of the three finalists are grateful for the experience and the chance to be a part of such a talented group. It's definitely helped me improve a lot as, a, as an artist, as a musician, as a songwriter. Um, there were a lot of contestants throughout the entire competition that had brilliant originals. And um, it, it's, it's definitely helped me grow a little bit. And uh, also I just, I love, that the, I love the camaraderie because there's a lot of positivity uh, throughout everybody. I, I just, we're all like a big family, I love it. <laughs> It's good. I mean, if if all goes down the tubes, you know, I got some more live performances up my belt and and everything, and it's nice to meet all these new people and get their perspective on what I can improve on and then what I'm doing well. So it's good to know that all around aspect of it. I mean, it's meant a lot. It's super awesome getting to work with so many talented musicians, sharing the stage with people that love music as much as I do. And it's not about the win, it's about the experience. And I think it's super awesome to just be part of this. Who will be the next Burlington Idol? We'll find out next week. Until next time, this is Chris Flaherty with your B News Entertainment Buzz.